Hey guys, thank you for watching The Farming Pastor's Wife. Today, we're gonna make apple butter. Now, this is several day process, so just take that into consideration when you watch the video, but we're gonna make some yummy, yummy, yummy apple butter. So come on, let's get started. Hey guys, look, I have a helper. It's my little dinosaur. This is Judah. So I am just getting my apples in the sink. I hadn't even run the water yet. I only ended up throwing about eight away. Um, now some of these will have to have stuff cut out of them because some of them do have spots. But I needed to do something. I have It's that time of year where gnats come in real bad. So already got gnats anyway and I didn't want them any worse than when I've already got them so I'm just double checking see how that one's got a bad spot but I'll just cut that out well that bad spot goes up a little bit I'm gonna throw that one away but I only threw about seven or eight of those away now maybe eight or nine come here Judah bug he was not happy in there by himself he wants to be in what's happening. Y'all, I threw this one apple away. And it was the most ginormous apple I have ever seen in my life. In fact, I'll see if I can find it and show it to you. Because it was like crazy big. It was crazy big. Let me show it to you if I can find it. <laughs> Look at that apple. Oh my goodness, it's huge. Here it is in comparison to a normal apple. <laughs> but it's got it's got pretty extensive brown spots and areas. So we're gonna toss it. Okay, so I'm just going to run some water, cold water, and I'm just going to put a little vinegar. I don't know if the vinegar does anything, but I use vinegar when I clean. I'm not putting much. In fact, I didn't have much to put. The jug is empty. I think it just helps loosen up anything that may be on it. See how this one's got like a caterpillar's nest in there? I'm gonna get that out since I saw it. I guess that's what that is. It's like one of those silk things. I really don't know what that was. I don't know why I called it a caterpillar's nest because I have no clue. Judah, Judah, look. Say hey. Look up here. <laughs> He's looking at the apples. <laughs> he says, I want an apple. I want an apple. And I'll just kind of smush these around in the water. And change them around. The ones that are on top, I'll push down to the bottom. And I'm just going to let them soak till I probably get back from church tonight. And that's when Brian and I are going to cut them up. I got to get my pots out that I'm going to cook them in. Yep. So, Judah and I are going to go sit down. Sit down. Maybe take a nap. Think we'll take a nap? Judah, look. Judah, look. See the baby. <laughs> he is not going to look. He says, absolutely not. There he is. Judah bug. Look at the baby. <laughs> oh, well. I tried. See you guys in a little bit. 
Well, hello, y'all. I am finally ready to start working on my apples. And I was thinking and hoping Brian would be here to um, help, but I gotta learn his secret. He somehow can has the best secret on how to get out of helping me. And so I gotta learn that same secret so I can get out of helping him. But anyway, <laughs> no, he's, he's actually gone to the church to do something now. And, um, and then they're working on hay, our final cutting of hay, I think, for the, for the year. Um, but he does seem to get out of helping me. He never helps me around the house. I gotta figure out his secret. But um, I have two big bowls plus some of apples that I need to cut up. And um, I have two ways I'm gonna cut them because I get tired of doing it one way. And so I I'm gonna switch back and forth. Um, this way works really good. This is your apple core slicer thing. I mean, you know, it just you just push down and it's there. <clears throat> There's a little setback to that. Here, let me show you. I'm going to pull the camera down and hope the phone. Yesterday I was doing a live video for my Bible study and the phone fell out of the... <laughs> it was quite hilarious. Anyway, so you take your apple... <clears throat> like this and you kind of center it up with the core and there you have your slices now let me also tell you I have bowls pots that I'm going to cook them in and I've got about an inch of water down in the bottom I've got two here and I'm hoping that'll be enough anyway so you just and I'm cooking these skins and all and let me tell you why, the skin just adds to, well, it adds to the flavor, it adds to the, <laughs> I'm not going to say nutrients because this is apple butter we're talking about, but it adds to the color of the apple butter. It gives it a darker, richer color. And so that's the only setback of that is having to kind of push the core out. It's no big deal. Let me get a, I need a bowl, a trash bowl to, that's not going to be big enough. Oh, I have an elbow that has been killing me for months, and it's not getting any better. So anyway, let me demonstrate that again. And see, on another setback is when your apple is big. Like, this one's a little bit big. Sometimes you, it doesn't want to fit. But it's really easy. I do like this way. Just have to push the core out and then you get this leftover stuff. And then my other way, of course, is the trusty knife. And I just go down either side of the center and then back down and back down. And then the only downside of this is you get some of, sometimes you get the seed and the, I think I like the core thing better. It is seem to be faster. So anyway, I'm just gonna keep cutting and y'all can just watch me cut and I'll bring you back in just a little bit.
and this one um, this pot full and I still have let's see let me get these extra ones over here but wait there's more <laughs> I still have this entire bowl full of apples left to slice up so I think what I'm gonna do instead of getting out another pot I'm gonna see what these two render and then if I need extra I can do this and then what I'll do with this extra one is let me what I'll do with the extra pot I mean the extra bowl of apples is if by chance I have plenty for my apple butter I will peel and slice these up and make our the applesauce that I make that I love and freeze it so and let me just say that I said we we're gonna leave the peel on these because it adds to the color but your peel does not go into the apple butter I use a food meal yeah food meal and you'll see that in a little bit um, you'll see what that looks like turn them down a little bit they're starting to boil over a little bit I need to get the lid on I guess but I want them to calm down a little bit because they really will boil over when I put the lid on okay so um but so the peel won't actually stay in there it when I do the food meal all the good pulp will come out but the if, if by chance there's a seed in here I don't think there is but if by chance there was a seed the seed would be caught the skins caught and we just and I just back my food meal up and scrape all that out and then put another batch in so and you'll see that when we get ready for that but I'm gonna get this pot on to going and I think I'm gonna wait on this other bowl now let me show you let me get this going Let me show you this. This is the bowl where I put all the scraps, all the cores, all the extra stuff. And let me just say, if you were really smart, which I am not, but, only, and it's not, maybe not smart's the right word. I guess I'm a little too lazy to do this, but you could actually cook this down You can actually cook this down and put it through the food meal as well and it would catch your seeds, it would catch your stems, um, but I'm just not going to do that. I'm just not. I just don't have it in me. I don't have it in me. <laughs> so uh, my house needs cleaning, my house is a mess. and. And I gotta get this out of here anyway because it must be gnat season around here. I think every season here is gnat season. Because this is the only fruit I have and they're not, I mean, it's not rotten or anything. There's just a few little bad spots, but nothing that's open and would draw gnats. But now this bowl, that will draw gnats. So I gotta get it out of here. Wish I had a pig. I need a pig. That is my next want for the farm. It's a pig. I want a pig so I can have a five gallon bucket on the porch, put my daily scraps in, and go. What in slop the hogs? I had to think what my daddy called it. We're gonna go slop the hogs. My daddy was a hog farmer. And um so yeah. He was small time, not big time, but he was a small time hog farmer. And um, so, yeah, I'd love to have a five-gallon bucket, a hog, a pig somewhere right there. And, and you know what I would raise him for? Yes, I would eat him eventually. But I could have a place to take my scraps and um, slop the hog. <laughs> so, anyway, but... 
Oh well, maybe one day I'll get my pig. Um, we got enough to take care of. I don't know that I need a pig, but I want a pig. But um, anyway, so yeah, that's that. I didn't get any persimmons this year. I had a beautiful tree, and my brother had and sister-in-law had a beautiful tree in their pasture, and they got like. Oh my goodness, I have no telling. They've got enough to make like 15 persimmon puddings or whatever off this one tree. And they got, I mean, they picked all they were going to pick. And they said, Leslie, come pick it. And I said, okay. Well, then, of course, you know, my life is so busy. I never got over there. Well, then I thought, well, I've got this tree over here in the pasture that I'm going to, I can pick up from. Because it was, it was kind of a late one getting ripe. And then Hurricane Florence came in and came through. There went. I'm not sure what happened, but the camera stopped. But so I don't know where I was talking. If you got any of my persimmon pudding stuff or not. But anyway, never mind if you didn't. Um, so anyway, um, I'm gonna clean up and see how many, how much this renders before I cut up any more. I'll bring you back at the next next step. Okay, guys. The apples were done in no time it I mean literally no time at all I poured me a cup of coffee and I was going to show you this here is a food meal I think that's what it's called um, I always want to call it a feed meal <laughs> and the reason I'm going to call it a feed meal is because feed meal is in my lingo too because um um at the chicken houses, when we run out of feed, we call for feed, we call the feed meal. So now that I'm trying to say both a food meal and a feed meal, I'm getting them intertwined here. But anyway, this is a feed meal. I've washed it because I have it out in storage. Um, you put the apples down in there. This mashes them through that mesh. The skins and seeds stay in the back. And then I, then I go backwards to scrape up the skin and get it out. Um, so I've got me a glass bowl, got me a glass bowl. Now this is going to make like an applesauce, like a really smooth, unsweetened applesauce. And I had a little water left in my pot. So the other day I ordered some Pampered Chef and I ordered enough that I got a free gift and it's this measuring cup with drain holes all the way around it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but anyway, I'm gonna use that to get the apples out. And I guess the, any liquid can drain through those holes. And I'm just gonna put it in the feed meal. <laughs> ah, I said it, feed meal. Food meal. All right, I can hang that on the side. And it is just gonna make a beautiful, smooth applesauce. Uh, it won't be um, sweetened. It won't be sweetened because we won't put the sugar in until we, um, get it all out and I'm just going round and round I probably put a little bit too much in here but it's going and I just go around in one direction and every now and then I go the opposite to to move stuff so applesauce can go through those little holes this is the most um, Time consuming, I guess, part. I need to go get my bowl of cores back in here so I can scrape the skin. And it's funny the applesauce, because the skin is red, the applesauce is going to have like a kind of a pink tint to it. It's going to look pinkish. Not, not really pink, but just a light tinge of pink to it. Um, 
So it is almost completely out of here. I'm gonna, my, for some reason it's not wanting to fit. Maybe my bowl is the wrong size. Let me kind of get this just to scrape off my, I don't know if you call that a paddle or, but the piece of metal that's actually doing the squishing, it's got some applesauce up on top of it, so. Go around backwards and okay and this thing was full so now I am only left with the skin in here so I'm gonna go get that bowl and I'll be right back okay so I am back I've scraped out the skin of my food meal and here is the applesauce I mean, it looks like jarred applesauce. It looks like the kind you buy at the store. It's got a little bit of a pink tint to it. Okay. So, we're going in with more apples now. see my brother going up the driveway. I'm going to make some fried apple pies tonight, so I got to be sure he gets one. Hey y'all, I am back and I have got all the apples squished out, whatever you want to call it, processed out. Um, let me show you how much I got and pray that the bone does not fall into the applesauce. <laughs> so yeah, I have, I think this I don't even know what size crock pot this is, but it's one of the great big long ones. Um, and it is full. Um, in fact, I probably filled it a little too full. I try to keep about an inch from the top. It's not far from that, but anyway. And um, it also rendered one of these containers more, which is a good thing because normally... Normally, I go and buy, I purchase, like, just one jar of unsweetened store-bought applesauce to have here just in case this cooks down to where I need to add more. Um, so, now I have my own. I have plenty of my own to add, and it's the same apples, the same stuff, and if by chance I don't use it, then little Judah Bug has got him some all natural, um, unsweetened applesauce. Um, so we'll see if we need it or not. Um, this, this part, since this was the end, is pretty juicy. Uh, this is thicker in here, but, um, so anyway, so now here comes the fun part. Here are the items you're gonna need you're gonna need sugar. You're going to need, whoo, the lid wasn't on it good. We about had a catastrophe. Cinnamon, cloves, and allspice. Okay. Let me just go right in here for a second, make sure I got everything right. Okay. So, we are going to need two tablespoons of cinnamon. Two full tablespoons. Well, let's get... That didn't look clean, so I'm not going to use it. And I had another container of cinnamon that my utensil would fall into. But, um, and I'm going to turn y'all down here. Um... 
but I kind of wanted the good stuff for my apple butter. It was a no-name brand cinnamon, and it's probably just as good, but I give a lot of my apple butter as gifts, so I want it to be really good. All right. Here's the second tablespoon going in. All right, and now we're gonna do one teaspoon of cloves. One teaspoon, it fits in there good. Mmm, y'all, it smells good already. And a half a teaspoon of allspice. Now, we're only going to put part of the sugar in. But I'm going to stir it first. Let's get a... Uh, I'm going to use this to stir it. I wish y'all could smell my house. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Now, when I cook, I'm going to cook this. My, oh no, my crock, good. I was thinking my crock, I got two crock pots and I was thinking it was the other one. Um, I have one that like is, has preset time limits on it. But this one doesn't. This one is just uh, low, high, and warm. So, I'm going to turn this on low, and I'm going to let it cook the rest of today and all night long. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to lay some wooden or maybe some butter knives across here this way to vent the lid so that steam can get out. Because we want it to cook down. We want it to thicken up. And it won't it won't thicken up and uh, cook down if the steam stays in it. So we're we're venting the lid to give it um, now this will darken up, it'll get darker. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so good. So right now I'm only adding part of the sugar. In the morning we'll add um, the next part. So, I'm going to add two cups of sugar right now. Okay, I'm going to get this stirred in. And see what I mean? I got it a little too full. <laughs> so yeah, and let me just tell you, my house is going to smell like, well, it already smells delicious. But once it gets to cooking and that lid being cracked a little bit, letting the steam out, who needs candles or who needs a scentsy warmer when you're making apple butter? Nobody. And it's going to smell like fall. I may finally break down and get my fall decorations out. Y'all want to hear a funny story? I have never, ever, ever in my life decorated for Halloween. Just didn't. Never have. Never let my kids dress as anything. Now, we participated in Halloween. We, um, you know, I let them go trick-or-treating and stuff, but I never let them dress as anything scary or demonic or anything. 
Well, the funny story is this year, well, I purchased, a, I saw a light that a lady I know, and it's just a lantern with an orange and black ribbon on it. And it's so cute, and it lights up. And I knew her, you know, I'm acquainted with her, so I, I bought that light. Well, then I happened to be somewhere, and Bright and I have always said, like, when we go on trips and so forth, that, um, you know, if we wrecked or whatever, it would be such a, for our children, it would be good if one was left alive. But for us, you know, we just kind of wanted to die together. If it, if it was a tragic death, you know, we've watched The Notebook and how he gets in the bed and they die together. I'm just like, oh, that's so sweet. You know, I hope we die together. And um, so I saw this, um, it's, it's a, it's a tombstone and there's a husband and wife skeleton sitting on top of the tombstone and it said till death do us part <laughs> and so it was so funny and it reminded me so much of me and Brian I had to get it well then I was like well, I need to get a few more if I'm gonna have that one skeleton thing I gotta have a couple other things for Halloween so I bought just a couple other things at the dollar store a um, couple things at Marshall's um, just Nothing. And see my spider. I got a spider and I got my cute little people sitting up here from the dollar store. You know, nothing major. The only thing, like, questionable I got, and I did it as a joke because my son can get scared so easy. Um, it's, it's one of those 3D things. And it, it's an old black and white picture of this old-timey family. And if you move this way, their faces change to be like zombies or whatever. And I did that as a joke, just because I knew it would creep him out. Well, so here I am, first time ever buying anything for Halloween. And I go into one of our chicken houses, and Bryant has, for some reason, don't know why, got this, it's as, I mean, it's as tall as my ceiling, bolt of black fabric well the black fabric had started kind of like falling off the bolt so it wasn't tightly wound it so it's just it was kind of flowy so it was like i walked in. i didn't know it was in there and i walked in and it was like the grim reaper was standing there and so i've got all this halloween stuff on my mind and i was like oh lord i'm so sorry i didn't mean to decorate for halloween <laughs> so it's just really kind of funny but um i do have a few little cute things but Oh, well. Um, so, anyway, applesauce going in. I'm going to turn it on the crock pot on low. I'm going to vent the lid. And it's going to cook all day and all night. And then we'll come back tomorrow and we'll finish it. i got to go to the store and get some jars. And then sanitize them and wash them and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, i gotta go. I got to go get some stuff before I can finish this up. But it's going gonna, it's gonna, to, it's a two-day process anyway. So, y'all take care. I'm... I don't know if I'm going to do this in part one, part two, or if it's all going to be on one. So, we'll see. Okay. So, yes. I'm going to do this in a part one and part two. Mainly because of my memory storage on my phone. <laughs> so, I've got to make the video. Um, I'll probably upload it tonight, part one. And then tomorrow night, part two will be on. So, um, y'all be sure to stay tuned to part <laughs> this will be part one and y'all wait for tomorrow night or the next day for okay guys I wanted to show you the apple butter this morning early when I got up I went ahead and put in two more cups of sugar so this takes a total of four cups of sugar but look how dark it's gotten and how it's cooked down I mean as far as getting thicker and y'all I really didn't add I added maybe a spoonful of my extra applesauce that's it um, so what I'm gonna do is I got my jars I've got to wash them 
and get them in the, um, I'm going to put them on, under my um, sanitize, um, my sanitize section on my dishwasher. Let me show you the jars I got. I got these ball jelly jars. So um, I'm going to get them washed in the um, um, dishwasher under sanitize. And I'm going to keep the rings and lids separate. And then we'll come back and um, we'll process it in just a little bit. Hey guys, I have got to get this apple butter finished. So um, what I am doing is I have gone out and got my canner. I'm not actually going to can these per se, but I use this so I can get a bunch of jars in here, get them hot. Once I get them filled with the apple butter, I'll put them back in here as a, like a water bath for about 10 minutes. Um, so I have washed everything. Um, I'm going to go over here and turn my apple butter on high. disaster <laughs> it's a different disaster than it was yesterday but it's still a disaster so anyway let me let you see in my canner I'm gonna get the rest of the jars in there I don't know how many jars this is gonna make but um, we'll soon see in this pot over here I've got a little pot of water over here and I put the lids and rings down in that so I'm going to get everything hot, everything nice and hot. That's my goal. So I'm going to finish putting these jars down in here. And my water is already getting hot. I'm going to kind of, uh, let's see. Where is this? I'm going to get a few more to go in here just so they'll all stand up. May not use all of these, but um, at least they'll all stand up. My nose is itching. Oh. Okay, so I'm just I'm not gonna close the lid. I'm just gonna kind of set it on top, um, so it'll be ready. So there's my canner. I'm not actually gonna bring anything to pressure, so I don't have to worry about any of that. I'm just getting everything hot. So I've turned my apple butter up. It's going to get hot. My jars are getting hot. My lids and rings are getting hot. And then we'll be ready to jar the apple butter. Oh, it's so good. And then I'm going to make me a good old homemade hot biscuit and put some of that apple butter on it. Mm -hmm. My house smells so good. Now remember, I put... This morning, I put in two more cups of sugar. When I got up, as soon as I got up, I put in two more cups of sugar, stirred it up, put one spoonful of my extra applesauce. I didn't really need to do that, but I did. Anyway, so, um, and that's all I did today. All the spices were already in there. It's just turned a good, beautiful, dark, rich color. It smells so good here, so, um, while everything's getting hot, um, we'll wait and I'll bring you back when we're ready to put everything in jars. Okay guys, I don't know how best to get you to see this, so I'm just going to turn it downward and hopefully, hopefully you'll see what you need to see. Okay, I'm going to take out the hot jar. Some of this good hot apple butter, thick hot apple butter. Oops, I may have got it too full. Get 
get this over here to set it on. There we go. And I'm going to get a paper towel to wipe off the ring just to be sure there is nothing on there that is going to stop it from sealing. I'm going to take out one of my really hot rings and lids. good and tight and I'm gonna set it right back down into my hot cannon um, can get this done. Alright, so here we go back in. With more apple butter. It doesn't take quite too um hang on just a second. Okay guys so let me do this again. I've got three done. Hot jar, hot apple butter, wipe the edges, get a hot rain and lid. Go get Judah Bug. He's not happy. Okay, and back down in the hot water. And we do it all again. So I'm going to keep filling these up and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so in my canner here, I got, um, I didn't fill it all the way full. I got one empty jar in there and then I took a jar out. Um, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've got eleven in there full that's full of apple butter and um, I've just set the lid on not even tight. The lid's not even on tight and I'm just going to bring it up to a bowl and let it sit in there for about ten minutes. And then I've got a towel here on my bar that I'll set them on. And we'll start over and I put my apple butter back in the crock pot so it could stay hot and I got a crying baby I got to into so I'll bring you back in a little bit hey y'all I am on my way home from the church I ran over to the church to do a little something and I want to tell you about the apple butter oh it's so good so good um, what I did was I finished filling up my jars I put them in my canner back down in that little bit of water, turned, got them to boil, left them in there hot, really hot for about 10 minutes, got them out, sat them out on my um, bar, and they all sealed, and I have just a little bit left I need to go home and can, and that is where I'm headed now. Forgive the appearance, but I wanted to get this video um, ended and finished. And um, so I don't know exactly how many jars that um, is going to render. I'm thinking it's going to render about that one crock pot full is going to render, mm, let's see, 11, maybe 20. I may get 20 half pints. So that would be a total of 10 pints, but it'll it'll render about 20 of the jelly jars. Uh, is I'm thinking what I can get out of it. Um, 
so I'm gonna go home and finish it but I hope y'all try this apple butter it's so easy and oh, my house smells so good so good I was planning on making a little biscuit just pattying out one little biscuit and, and tasting it for you um, on a biscuit but my joints are hurting today so I don't think I'm gonna make anything I'm actually gonna go home and um, I'm gonna take me a little nap. I don't ever take a nap, ever. But I'm gonna take me a nap today. And um, so, but I wanted to let you know the apple butter is delicious. Probably the best batch I have ever made. And um, it's so thick and rich. Oh, it's so good. Better than anything Cracker Barrel could ever <laughs> think about. And I love Cracker Barrel's apple butter, but mine's better. So y'all, um, try this apple butter at home. If you have any questions, leave them down below, or you can leave them on the Farm and Pastor's Wife Facebook page. Um, so, and please, please, if you get a chance, if you get a chance, see that, subscribe, and I'll link the other video below. So y'all have a great day. Thank you for watching the Farm and Pastor's Wife.